Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flater Mouse. I hope you're having a great day. Today we'll be filming at the test site 11, which we call the Pit. OG brought out his drone and we got a whole lot of cool aerial shots of the area. I didn't know what else to do with the footage, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Today we'll be testing some 12 gauge slugs made out of 4 aught electrical cable. These were recently sent to us by a viewer named Dave Bill Yu. And before you start thinking that he stole this wire from some construction site, no, that's not the case. He had some trimmings left over from a recent electrical wiring pole job. Each slug weighs about one ounce or 28 grams. Now, Bill was kind enough to send us some wads with this, and we have a really good fit, but I do have some concerns with this because we have a lot of unsupported area in the center. And what's likely to happen is if you have about 12,000 PSI accelerating this to over 1,300 feet per second in the length of a barrel. If you don't have a really solid base, all the guts, all the copper wire is just going to be shoved through that relatively thin shot cup. So in order to give these the best chance possible, I still used a shot cup, but use an FS12 gas seal and a cork wad. This gives it a lot stronger base. Let's head out to the test site and see what these things will actually do. Welcome back, Talflater folks. Jeff and Officer Greg out here with you. We brought you something a little different today. This is a piece of 4 aught copper cable wrapped in rubber that I've just dropped on the ground. Um, a viewer sent these in to us to, and to, to be loaded into a 12-gauge uh, shell. So Jeff has plugged these into the old standard 12-gauge shell. We're going to see how they shoot. I'm going to pick this one up off the dirt. <laughs> We're going to see how they shoot and, and determine whether or not that rubber casing uh, separates from the copper wire inside. I have no idea what they're going to do. I, in my mind, I always have these ideas that, yeah. oh, it's going to do this, it's going to tumble or it'll fly straight or it's, or, or what? We don't how know. How does that ever work out? It never works, it never out. works it, out. Yeah, so I, I, I can't even guess. So we've got a soft metal wrapped in a soft rubber. And uh, so we're going to see what these do against hard targets and soft targets. We're going to start out here with some splashy targets, and we've even got some uh, aerial footage ready for you. So uh, enjoy. Let's see what they do. Boop. Boop. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Not bad. In test number one, well, we have good news. The slug did not fall apart. He hit the jugs, but we had a very unstable flying projectile. And because of that, accuracy was less than ideal. But still, the test looks very promising. I think we had a couple of jugs. It's a lightweight round, so it did not penetrate too deeply. However, all we found downrange was this empty rubber sleeve. The insulation, we call that in oh, the yeah, trade. Oh yeah, that's what I meant to say. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. Insulation. Keeps you warm in the winter. However, we don't know where those little copper pieces went. There were 19 of them, 19 little pieces of copper wire jammed in there. I, I do see some, uh, on that second jug, you know, some weird holes. There's and... a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of tearing out here that's not normal with our, with just a water explosion. So it's possible that these things are rocketing out. We'll probably be able to tell on your uh, high-speed camera. Yes, maybe. We're definitely gonna be able to find out where they go when we shoot them in some clearish ballistic gel. Yeah. So it's more on the cloudy side than clear these days. Is it cloudy yeah. ballistic gel? <laughs> yeah. It's we'll be able to clear dig around in there. Cloudy with a <laughs> good chance of upstream. I've got to reconstitute my. Right we have some Jay Leno approved New Jersey ballistic gelatin, and uh, let's put a round into it. See how many layers it goes through. It's just all soaked down, heavy, heavy denim, and uh, it, it simulates if you were wearing, you know, like 20 pairs of pants sure. that were wet. That were that wet. You, that, uh, you had wet in well, fear if, you if that would protect problem. you or not if you have a wedding problem you probably need 20 pairs of pants but you normally want to alternate those and wear them one at a time not all at the same time <laughs> you're just going to end up with 20 pairs of wet pants <laughs> all right enough jackassery okay, hope, let's, uh, yes. let's put one of those copper rounds in there test two i'm ready all right here we go test three i'm ready did it completely miss yeah, it hit the hit the side. Oh, okay, I saw the puff out bad. Yeah, we might have to. We're, we're using smoothbore right now. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. One more. Much better. Actually, the second attempt wasn't much better than the first. 
once again the slug fell apart right out of the barrel but maybe having a bunch of one inch long copper rods flying through the air is the effect that you want. This is about the same effectiveness as those 12 gauge flechette rounds that we've tested before. Just kind of hold them up and shake them a little bit maybe. Definitely went through the thigh here, here. I, I think most of them actually missed, but it's, I think it looked like four or five of them actually hit. There is some damage. Yeah, damage, but where's any projectiles? I don't know. It's, it's weird. They dissolved. They were not made out of icicles. Next target. Well, we have some North Korean ballistic gel. I was recently in North Korea, and of course I took some of this out with me as a souvenir. This is calibrated ballistic gelatin from North Korea. Let's put it around in there and see. This is actually just compacted clay, so it's going to shatter or fall apart, but let's see how much damage it'll do. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, try another one. Oh. There you go. There we go. That's weird. The first two shots came apart again. The third shot didn't, but we had terrible stability. Even using a fully rifled barrel, we didn't get enough spin to cause that slug to fly through the air straight, like a bullet. Fortunately, I anticipated this might be a problem. Because we didn't have a really tight fit going through the barrel, we weren't really engaging the rifling. So I added some electrical tape, adding about, oh, about 10 thousandths of an inch to it. This makes it a lot snugger, and hopefully this will solve our problem and give this thing sufficient spin for stabilization. Okay, ballistic, bulletproof helmet. What, are you going to try to hit the helmet? We're going to try and hit the helmet and not the first sergeant underneath it. Let's see. <laughs> Okay. If Got it the cardboard out behind it to see if there's any shrapnel afterward. Okay, gotcha. I'm ready. Here we go. Excellent. Look, at you. you did exactly what you set out to do. Well, ready. Here we go. At last, after so many failures, things just went right on this one. Now that we have great spin, the slug's very stable and also very accurate. Through a lot of trial and a lot of errors and learning from those errors, we we're able to get this thing working correctly with the desired results. And for me, that's what's so satisfying about these tests, being able to, you know, troubleshoot problems that we're having and make corrections and have the satisfaction of making things, oddball things like this work. All right, top lucked out. OG managed to hit something he was shooting at. I know. <laughs> Hit the helmet and not the sergeant down below. We managed to break the little, uh, very lightweight pot metal camera. Is that, is that, is that pot metal? Is it actually metal? Look at that, yeah. it's. I thought it was plastic. No, it's the pottiest of pot metal. I know, but it's... Any more pot metal is going to be snooped I could have, I would have bet, you know, at least $3 that that was that there plastic. Was no, that there was no metal on this ballistic helmet? E exactly, yeah. We did hit it in the forehead here. On the inside, it just bulged. There's no actual uh, penetration it, it inside. It stopped it. Which we, it should. That was a lightweight round. Yeah. Made up of fragments. <laughs> I don't uh, detect any copper fibers in here, but there is some warmth in this hole. Oh, you, got, you in, want warmth in your hole. There's warmth in this. Oh, oh, wait a second. There's warmth in this fuzzy hole, Jeff, and I believe... That's funny that my finger is right on the other side of this stuff inside, but unless we cut open that Kevlar, we're probably not going to find that. Yeah, right. we shook it and, and nothing's falling out, so. It is completely contained in there, though. It, yeah. It hit as one piece. The rifled barrel tends to be the uh, the lucky thing for this round. Kind of, yeah. We've had it. They're loaded. They're all loaded different. Some have a better support wad than the other. I, I tried a bunch of different things hoping something would work, you know? It's always, it's always like, I guess what will work. Well. I'll be honest with you, this was a less than satisfactory test on the ballistic gel. 
and once again we had the problem where the slug came apart into fragments before it hit the block. The effects are still pretty interesting, like this one piece of wire that just twisted and turned and tore through the gel. I would not want to be hit by that thing. But here's what's cool. There's some in there making their little wound tracks, and they're pretty gnarly. Yep. So, we'll flip, uh, just flip it around the other way so we have a diff, you know, a little better end or something. Two holes down here though. I uh, know. Or do you want to go into a side? They're not going to go very far. We yeah, could, we could try that. You can see right here they only went six inches deep, so yeah. we should be able to catch most of them here. Okay, I'm ready. Stop. I still wasn't really too pleased with the second test. Yeah, we had good penetration everything. You can see all the, the pieces of wire ejecting out the back. You can even see the insulation. This the jacket itself just flying off by itself. But I really want to give these things justice and, and illustrate to you how effective they are when everything works perfectly. Bring out the ballistic gel head. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Here we go. You need a, you need a big giant 100 foot tarp to capture that so it doesn't get dirty. And a metal detector and a thermal camera. Yeah, and the slow mo guys and Destin right. Smarter Every Day. And you guys should have a parachutist that comes in and plays a banjo on his way <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, everybody who's seen another YouTube channel, we don't necessarily need to send all of our stuff to that YouTube channel to make this better. So. We try to do our best, but we, we all live on different parts of the country and logistics. Almost. Okay, what that one was actually so accurate and stable you in said flight. It stuck together. Yeah, it, it flew like a bullet. It definitely flew point of aim, point of impact, because this is where we were aiming. Yep. Right in the ear. So here's what's cool. Came up, I found this. The whole head's covered with sand. Which and, you and you just wash it off with water. I didn't, you know, yeah, it, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You don't want your head covered with sand, I'm just saying. Oh, wow. But look at this. When I roll it over after washing off the sand, can you see those little, look at those little pieces of wire in there right near that the is, surface. So, I didn't, I, I was hoping it would do something like that, but I couldn't predict it. That went all the way through the face, all the way through the brain. And most of these wires are very near the surface right here. That's a, that's wild. Something came out the other side though. You can. Well, probably there was, looks like one exited right here. Maybe. Tore a little what bit. is that? Is that, a, a, is that a skin tag? It's a little piece of <laughs> brain. medicine for that these yeah. days. Saw a lady down at the casino. I had one. <laughs> <laughs> Only it was black, <laughs> purple. But look at those. Those things are barely below the surface right there. However, there are some that are actually deeper that you can't really see too clearly probably on camera, but they're an inch or two underneath there. That's amazing. That was cool. So the end. In this cloudy ballistic gel, <laughs> there is an actual wound track in there too that appears to be about an inch and a half wide. Again, tough to see, but man, it did some damage coming that through. Was, there. That was very cool. Why does this grow off a flat head, Jeff? It's the way I store it. So Every, so you can put your beer it's just, there? It's just called gravity. You can set your beer there? Yeah. <laughs> that was a man show joke back in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, that's okay. pretty cool to be able to see these things. Are you gonna... Well, we'll we'll do a little top layer surgery just yeah, for this. Why not? Just for this top one. We don't want to dig in there too far and. Oh, there it is. One. There it is. Look at that. Just Look yoink cool. it out of there. Sure. Come on. There you go. Boop. This is like surgery with Obamacare. Well, it's still kind of straight. Too. Yeah. Didn't bend a whole lot. But there's a whole bunch of those. There's at least two or three more of these in there. there we know there's 19 of them packed into one of those pieces of Yeah, and that, each one is probably deadly. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you definitely want to, don't want this thing zipping through your brain. This piece of wiring will short circuit the rest of your wiring. Yep. As it heads right through you, so. Very cool. Good times. That's awesome, I'm excited now. I figured I'd save the best shot for last, and this is definitely cool. When this functions correctly, it's like having a flechette round, but it's all bundled together into one nice little package, and only after it hits something, it breaks apart. This was definitely one of the most unique rounds we've ever tested, and with a little refinement, it can be perfected. I hope you enjoyed the video, and take the time to rate the video. 
I realize that advertisements are annoying and a lot of people opt to use ad blockers. But because of generous supporters on Patreon, we're able to continue making videos for you. And we can also avoid sponsored placements for stupid games and apps and things like that. That just waste your time. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.